Hi everyone, hope you're doing great today. In today's training video, I'm going to highlight a few tasks inside of Microsoft Outlook. Outlook 2016, which is part of your Office 365 account and software suite. What I want to show you, there's a few additional ways to work with Outlook in conjunction with your OneDrive, especially when you're needing to attach files, copies of files, and or provide links for someone to be able to access the files that you do have located in your OneDrive. I'm going to show you real quickly here. We'll dive right in. Say that we've got this email right here. Now right here in the current mailbox mail section, uh, once you highlight on each individual mail or email, over on the right hand side, this is how I have mine set up. Some people do not like this. However, I, lo I love it because I can simply click on the message, see what it is and read it and then make the selection to delete it. So it really works for me. If yours is not set up like this, please contact me. We can get you set up as well. However, this is the default setup for most everyone's email. And you can simply change that if you want. In this case, I got an email. Say I got this from the Office 365 Message Center. Say I want to reply. Now, whenever I click on reply, Say I wanted to include a couple things, um, and whenever I want to do that, I kind of notice that, hey, my tab that I normally see up here is not there. And the one thing that I do want you to know, all you have to do to get full functionality of the normal operations within this is click on this pop-out link. When I do that, it's going to pop it out. And I can see here, now the tab that I wanted, which was not here, is insert. Let me show you again. So I'm clicking in here, reading my email. I want to reply to the person. Click reply and say I want to send a, a picture or I want to include something additional. And while I'm in this message, I can easily go and click on the attach file. As I do this, I could certainly go down and attach a recent item, a recent file that I have used, or I could browse to a specific location for where the attachment is that I want to send. However, if I want to include an image, say I want to insert a direct picture inside this email, what I will have to do, as you can see here in the tabs, the normal tab for this is not available whenever I am inside and replying to the email. All you have to do is click on pop out and the insert tab is now available. And from here, I could go ahead and insert a picture. Okay, moving right along. Next, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you want to keep in mind whenever sending attachments and interacting with those inside your office and also with third-party agencies or agencies outside of your office those who may not have an office 365 account and may not be using the same information that you have so say I've got this message here I'm wanting to reply to them or if I even wanted to create a new email Simply click on the new email button, enter the email address of the recipient, the subject. Whenever I go to in the message area, I could of course type my message up. Whenever I want to attach a file or item, I'm going to go first to attach file. When I click on that drop down, you can see here that there's a few things that are directly available that may look a little different than what you're used to. I will point out, you can see here that it gives you an indication of what the file actually is. So it's very helpful, very intuitive. Also helps to save you quite a bit of time as well because I know number one that this file here, this is 
a picture. It's a JPG file. Uh, same with that. This is a text file. Some of these other ones are PDFs. Now, if I look right here, I can see that this is an Excel spreadsheet. And it has the little cloud or to the bottom right hand corner of the file icon because that's an indication that this file is located in the cloud. I could certainly attach that. However, if I did click on this data removal file, what that's going to do is send a link and not actually a copy of a specific file. And to show you that, I want to show you what happens here. Um, we've got two additional options here. One is browse web locations. You can see here over to the right, I can go ahead and make the selection. Let me move this over so you can see it. You've got the option for my OneDrive. I also have sites. So sites that I am currently associated with. You could go ahead and browse to that location. Group files, any group that I am associated with. I could directly go to that group and click on one of these items here and actually fetch a file from that group. Or I could choose other web locations. If I wanted to attach a file that was not in my my OneDrive, say it was a file that I recently downloaded, put it to my computer and just have not moved it over to my OneDrive, I could simply go ahead and click on browse this PC. However, in my case, I'm going to go ahead, I want to attach a file that is in my OneDrive. I'm going to click on browse web locations, I'm going to click OneDrive. Tennessee District Attorneys. And when I do that, you can see here that it's taking me to quick access. Over on the left hand side, and if you do not have this set up, please contact me immediately because we want to make sure that you have this installed application called OneDrive that this gives you the ability for your computer to directly work with the files that are located within your OneDrive when you're using the Outlook application. Now, this is not the web version. This is Microsoft Outlook. Uh, previously might have been Outlook the program is what it was referred to as. However, this is the Outlook application included with your Office 2016 suite of software that is installed on your computers. So whenever I want to attach a file that is located here, I would simply click on the OneDrive and I'm going to go into the area where my spreadsheet is located and I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to select the file Daily Tasks. I'm going to click Insert And I can see here, this is going to send a full copy to the recipient. Over to the right hand here, you also have a, a, a toggle or drop down menu option. I can make some changes with this. If, if you did happen to see a little cloud located at the bottom right hand corner of this icon, you'd want to make the selection to send as copy. Now, since this is a current attachment as a copy, there's no need to do that. However, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach file and what I'm going to show you now is say if you Make the selection to attach a file. I'm going to make this selection of this file that is in my OneDrive. Now this would be a link that is sent out to the recipient and not the actual file. 
And if you know that or see that and you want to do that, go ahead, complete your message, and send. However, if you know that the recipient is not using Office 365 or they only need a copy of the file and it's okay to go ahead and send it out to them, go ahead, instead of sending out your link, you're going to want to right click on it and you're going to want to attach as copy. When I select that, it's going to go to my OneDrive, actually pull the file over and you can see now that the cloud has disappeared. And that's going to, once sent off, it's going to send this 42 kilobyte file directly to the recipient and not actually send a link to my OneDrive. Well, I hope that helps. We've had a few uh, additional questions regarding that. Might not fully make sense in the beginning. However, when you see that Outlook 2016 interacts with your storage space called OneDrive, and you start to use it a lot more, you'll see that it gives you really the option to collaborate with your colleagues inside of Office 365 so that you're not emailing copies and copies of stuff that may get edited and then sent back and then you're confused because you're trying to figure out which copy are you using. So this helps to alleviate that. You're wanting to send a link to the recipient, allow them to make the changes and it will save in the OneDrive instead of being saved say to their personal hard drive and then they send that copy back to you and on and on and on again but we want to make sure that if someone does need access to a file that you can certainly send it as an attachment and as a copy once again hope that makes sense if you happen to have any questions whatsoever needs or concerns as it relates to office 2016 or your office 365 account Please reach out. Please contact us at any time. You can reach us at servicedesk.tndagc.org. And of course, you can call us at 615-253-5725. Thank you very much. Have a great day.